Well, thank you for tuning in. We are excited to have Linda Nevin visiting us today, and she's going to be coming to the Tree House on Saturday, February 8th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m., and you'll be able to meet her and ask her a little bit more for questions. But for right now, just tell me a little bit, Linda, about why you got started in watercolor painting. Well, it's been a passion of mine for all my life. I wanted to, I couldn't wait to get started, but you know, life happens and I had a business that I had to do for many years, but now that I'm retired, I'm able to, uh, to take time and do watercolor or any kind of painting that I like. I like watercolor the best and it's just fun. It's a great hobby. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. I love the soft colors and, you know, just the other day we had asked her if she would do some seashore paintings to kind of mix in with our seashore collections and she just whipped up these gorgeous canvases I and mean, we were all like googly eyed over them when you brought them in and I know Kelly has her eye on a couple of these so <laughs> we're excited to have them but tell me a little bit more about what goes into painting these. Well these are watercolor mixed media actually because uh, I did some acrylic for the texture on the sea, the water, the waves, and some on the plants. Just gives it a little extra touch. Sure but uh, no, watercolor is fun, and I, I love, I love to do the seashore idea. It was actually not one that I had done before. Really? I mostly, I guess, I do a lot of the birds and flowers, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, I love how they just jump off the page. The canvases, they really, that 3D effect that you do, it makes a huge difference, I think. And tell me, where's the 3D on these? I did the acrylic on the birch trees, and um, the rest is uh, watercolor, but that helps to bring out the birch, feel of the birch. Birch is one of my favorite trees, too, to paint. Mm -hmm. And I love the little chickadees, they're cute. And, funny. They so are so they're fun. sweet. They're so fun sweet. to do. We had so many customers request chickadees from us and cardinals. You did cardinals at mm -hmm. Christmas time. Those were beautiful. And then she does gorgeous flowers as well. Check out some of these with the hummingbird. This one is beautiful. These are, uh, these are prints of my paintings that I've done. And yes, I love the uh, hollyhocks and the little hummingbird in, in there. And Tell me what goes through your mind when you're starting to paint the picture and kind of where do you start? I think I start mainly I have in my head what flower I want to do, what birds will go with the flower, where I want to place them so that I I'll figure that all out and, and draw the painting or the the flowers and the birds and then I, I will do the background first and a lot of times I have to mask the flowers off when you do the background so that they stay so you stay with your white paper because with watercolor there is no white paint so you have to leave your paper white and then just go with it with the flow it's, I love the backgrounds and some of those are so um, all fluid and it's watercolor. You don't really know all the time what it's going to do. Sometimes you have these happy little accidents that you may be able to use or maybe not, more often not. <laughs> but uh, it's fun. It's just, uh, it's just a great, medium to work with. I love it. So Linda, I love your note cards here. I feel like they'd make great gifts for Mother's Day with that beautiful two bird design and even a nice get well card with the butterflies. I love those. Yes, I, I agree too. And for sympathy too, like this one with a gazing ball as you know, would be a nice card for sympathy or thinking of you, and also for a friend, this little chickadee with the morning glories is kind of fun. This is a painting of 
Cape Hatteras. We were on vacation down there and uh, it was a wonderful vacation. We came back and I thought, oh, it'd be fun to paint the seashore. So that was my first attempt and uh, I like it. It was, the beach is wonderful. It looked gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. We visited that when we were down there and I did my rendition of it. I love it, love to do them. They're fun to visit and they're fun to paint. It turned out beautiful. I love how the waves and even the clouds, they really sing it off of the canvas. It's just beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. So you should come and join us and get to eat lemon Revin with our Coffee with the Artist on Saturday, February 8th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. I'm looking forward to it. So I hope all my friends can come and have coffee with us. Thank you.